Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to turn my old wash and go into a fresh braid out. So I am starting off on a two day old wash and go and I'm just going to section my hair into two sides and I am showing you guys how thick and crazy my hair gets on day two. Um, my hair has been growing crazy so it just doesn't last me as well with wash and goes. So here I'm just sectioning this half into two sections and the product that you see in my hair is just build up um, it looks like product that never dried actually so I'm going to take this bottom section and I'm going to hydrate it because it looks thirsty right so I'm going to give it some water and I'm going to go in and spray just a little bit I don't want my hair soaking wet um, because I'm trying to have the blowout look, the blowout braid look. Um, I'm just going to twist my hair or swirl it together, try to get all the water around. Next I'm using a product called Live and it's not really, I don't think it's catered to natural hair or no one really talks about it but my mom used it on me as a child growing up and she says that's why my hair is as thick as it is. Um, but I like to use it on my hair because it is super duper moisturizing. And now I'm just going to go in with my paddle brush to just make sure it gets everywhere and to get these kinks and tangles out of my hair. I also don't use that much live because I don't like product being really heavy on my hair. So I'm going to go back in with a little bit more water just because it, get, it got dry a lot um, while I was brushing it. I'm just going to smooth it down. And then I'm going to go in with my Eco Styler Gel and slick the hair down. So you really don't need that much. Just gonna go in and guys make sure every time you put products on your hair that you're making sure that you're getting your ends and I'm gonna brush it through and the brush is optional I know a lot of you guys do not like the brush um, so you can finger detangle but I feel like the brush gets my hair a lot uh, more straight and out of that natural curl pattern so I'm gonna go ahead and start braiding my hair I'm not going to do any corn rolls or anything I'm just going to singly braid my hair um, I do it this way because I feel that my hair um, has a lot more definition um, it's not just all like laying down because that's how it was braided and also what I do to my ends um, I like to put perm rods on my ends and it works a lot better when there are multiple braids versus just like two or three corner rolls. So I'm going to make sure that I braid all the way down and I'm adding in gel if I need it if I feel like my hair is getting dry or if there's just not enough on the ends to keep it curled. Another problem that I run into here is as you can see when I get to the bottom sometimes I run out of hair on one side so I will go in and just borrow some hair from another piece and just keep it going down and that also works well when you're doing Marley twists just add on from the other sides and now we're just gonna set a perm rod on it and just leave it on And we're just going to repeat. So when we get to this top portion, we're going to split that into two halves so that we have two separate braids. Um, it depends on how thick your hair is. My hair is way too thick. If I was to do one braid on, braid on top, it would not have much of a pattern. Um, and it would probably fall by the end of the day and I would look really crazy. So I'm applying my water again. Remember, not too much. You just want your hair to be able to take form of the braid pattern and I'm going to brush it through to make sure I get it all over and just to detangle my hair. Next I'm going in with the gel 
it looks like it skipped out on the live I'm sorry but don't forget to apply your live and you can find that at Sally's Beauty Supply um, I live here in Utah and so they don't really have a lot of um, beauty supply stores other than Sally's um, but I was lucky enough to find one and only one there and it was $9.99 so you guys can check your local beauty supply and see if they have it it usually runs about seven or eight bucks or you can check your Sally's um, and like I said this is a very moisturizing product um, I definitely use it on my daughter's hair just because she has a different texture and her hair gets dry. So this part is completely optional, but I'm going to take some bobby pins and I'm actually going to stretch my braids out um, because as you can see, they kind of dried up and swelled up a little bit and I just don't like the big chunky braid out look. Um, I, would, I, I like the definition being so big, but I like it going more down than out and if I did not actually stretch these braids my hair would go completely out um, like my wash and go if you guys have seen that um, I've been trying to tone it down a little bit and make my hair go down because it's growing out instead of down um, so I like to stretch my braids at night like that and I sleep pretty comfortably on it and I'm just gonna add a little more gel to the top of my hair and here's my headscarf. So I want to show you guys how I tie my hair down at night. I get a regular headscarf and I make sure that my two ends are uneven just like that. And I pull my head forward and lay it on the back and come up to the front. And I make sure that all of my hair is covered in the back so it doesn't pull off while I'm sleeping or anything like that. And I leave the middle part hanging straight down, and I'll show you guys what that's for later. Right now, I'm going to pull each side opposite and go ahead and tie in the back. Now with the front, I'm just gonna pull it, that way my hair is completely secured in the wrap, and I'm just gonna tuck that under one of the flaps. And that way my entire head is covered. And I'm going to call it a night. So it's the next morning and you don't necessarily have to wait overnight, especially since you're not starting off on entirely wet hair. Um, but I didn't need it until this morning. So here I am just taking the bobby pins out. I did do the cross method with the bobby pins um, where you crisscross them around each other or across each other just so everything would stay in place. 
And now I'm just going to take down the braids. Um, I try not to stick my fingers in between each single piece of the braid, if that makes sense, each little section that comes out of the braid, just because that makes more frizz. I just try to tang untangle as much as I can um, without frizz. And here's an up close of the pattern. And as you can see, my hair is super shiny and I'm loving it. And it just makes my braid out last so much longer because my hair just doesn't look so dry. Um, that's why I do use the Live product, um, but I don't use a lot because I don't like heavy products on my hair. And um, I don't know if this product will build up pretty bad because I haven't used a lot. Um, but on my daughter's hair, it does not build up at all. So it is up to you guys, but I'm definitely just letting you know the products that I use to achieve this look. And it helps it to last. So here we go. Here's all my hair unravel and I'm about to get ready to start separating I don't separate in any special kind of way um, I just pull it straight down and wherever it starts to fall apart is where I pull apart um, I don't mind frizz I actually like frizz frizz is my friend <laughs> um, so I'm just going to continue doing that all around my hair there we go so now I'm gonna pick because you know obviously it's not big enough for me um, I just don't like my hair just feeling all sectioned out <laughs> so I like to go in and just pick it out and try to put it all together so it flows and I don't have any any parts showing or any pieces just out of place um, gotta get the head scratch in because I love scratching my hair um, but there it is guys and what I plan on doing is making a part two to this video to show you how I make this braid out last. Um, usually I'll do a nighttime routine of putting it in a pineapple and wearing it just second day hair and then the third night I will rebraid it. That way it helps pull my hair further down instead of out like it is right now. It's more laid down and just longer in length and a little bit more defined or like bigger defined. So here I am just, I'm gonna bobby pin the front two strips of my hair because I don't like the hair falling in my face um, because I feel like it makes my, my face oily sometimes. So I just crisscross two bobby pins and just pull that hair back. So that, in case you guys are ever wondering why when I do a middle part I pull I bobby pin it back I just don't like the I don't like it in my face so that part is completely optional um, it's based on preference I just think that I look better and I feel better when I don't have stuff lying in my face so I hope that you guys enjoyed part one of this and I will be making a part two to show you how I do my nightly routine with it and also how I keep it up for day three and day four I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in part two.